Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeanette and today we're going to be doing a couple of dishes that are super simple to make. They are plant-based and they utilize a few things from the pantry. I've done a couple of videos like this already and people seem to really enjoy them so we'll do a couple more dishes today and they're just meant to be templates or ideas for you so that you can customize them however you like and if you're cooking for somebody who's not 100% plant-based then they can certainly add whatever they like to these or enjoy them as is. Now we're only doing a couple dishes in today's video because um, these are pretty hearty and I have to be able to eat all this food before it goes bad. So just two in today's video, but I've got a couple more planned for a future video. So let's get started. All right, this first dish I'm gonna make is called gallo pinto, and it's a Costa Rican rice and beans dish that I discovered in the Blue Zones Kitchen Cookbook. All right, one of the ingredients I'm gonna use for this is called salsa lisano, and I just ordered this on Amazon, and it came with two very substantial bottles. And it is a Costa Rican sauce that's used pretty widely from what I understand. Um, I did not have this when I first made this dish, so I did an internet search on what was in this, and just did the best I could with the spices and stuff that I had on hand. And it still turned out really good, but I'm really excited to try this because apparently this is really the authentic way to make this dish. Um, so if you can't find this, then do the best you can. To me, it smells a little bit like Worcestershire sauce. And I know that when I use that in dishes, it kind of gives it that extra something that you can't quite describe like an umami or savory flavor. It just really, it doesn't take very much and it really perks up the flavors a lot. So I'm really excited to try this. Okay, so I just have some white rice. You can use any kind of rice that you want. And I cooked this last night and it's been in the fridge overnight. I found that it worked really well for me the last time when I used pre-cooked rice like this. Then I'm gonna use a can of black beans and I'm gonna drain and rinse those. And there's the salsa lasano. I have some chopped cilantro, some diced red bell pepper, some diced sweet onion. I'm gonna use a little bit of salt, but if you're going salt free, just leave that out and then I need a little bit of water. So then I just saute my onions, bell peppers, and cilantro in a little bit of water over medium high heat. And I used to cook with oil and I honestly don't notice a difference between oil and water when I saute stuff like this. So I just keep the fat content down and use water and I'll add a little water if I need to, to prevent sticking. But just saute until everything starts to cook down like this. Then I add the beans and a little bit of water, and then I will add the salsa lasano. And I started with a tablespoon of that because I didn't know how it was gonna taste. I ended up adding a little bit more, but just adjust it to your taste. Then I made myself a quote cheese because from what I've read about gallo pinto, it's traditionally served with fried eggs and cheese. So I just used some baked seasoned tofu I got from the grocery store and mixed in a little nutritional yeast and salt and crumbled it up. So then I built my bowl with a little bit of avocado, some of the tofu cheese and some fresh chopped cilantro. Okay, the next dish I'm gonna make is a pasta salad. Again, a very simple dish to throw together and the sky is the limit on the ingredients. As a kid, I always remember this being served with an Italian type of dressing. It always had cheese in it and usually salami or pepperoni. So today I'm gonna make this a bit more plant friendly for myself. I'm gonna try to mimic some of those flavors. So let me show you how I do this. I like a pasta with some surface area to it to hold all of that delicious dressing. So this is the one I'm gonna use and I'm gonna throw in some chopped up grape tomatoes, as well as some fresh chopped spinach. And I'm gonna throw in some scallions and capers because I wanna give this just a little bit of bite like I would get with cheese. And some chopped up black olives, but you could use any olives you like. And don't forget to put the olives on your fingers like you did as a kid. I made up my own dressing last night, and for this I used Penzi's Italian dressing base. Uh, you could use any kind of spices that you wanted to in a dressing and I just added a little bit of water, red wine vinegar, and I did use one teaspoon of olive oil for this whole thing just to get this to stick to the pasta. Um, you can go without oil too, but uh, lately I haven't been really afraid to use just a pinch of oil where I need it in cooking, um, so this will help it stick to the pasta. And then for the pepperoni taste, I've got this awesome spice from the local spicery out in California, and this is pepperoni spice. And let me tell you, it tastes exactly like pepperoni. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of this on there um, and just kind of throw this together.
All right, that does it for today's video. I hope you guys got some good ideas out of this. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out when you do. Homicidal Maniac is signing off. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.